a people's pontiff, opens his ministry in an open Pope mobile. Pope Francis arrived for his inauguration determined to see and feel the faithful, repeatedly circling the square, stopping to kiss babies, even at one point stepping down to confer a special blessing. Inside the great basilica, mass began at the tomb of the very first pope, the Apostle Peter, and proceeded outside to a sun-drenched square, where the first pope from the Americas became Peter's 265th successor by donning the fisherman's ring and lamb's wool stole that make him shepherd of 1.2 billion souls. And his homily was a now familiar plea from the former cardinal who used to walk the slums of Buenos Aires. God wants us to protect all his creation, he said, from a threatened environment to the humblest of his human creatures, the poor and the weak. It was a message aimed as much at all the dignitaries present as at the Catholics electrified by his elevation a week ago. Following the service, Francis patiently greeted many of the leaders who'd come for the occasion, quick with a laugh or a diplomatic nod. Soon, Francis will need all that diplomatic skill and more as he faces a host of challenges, from a troubled Holy See bureaucracy to the priest's sex abuse scandal. In short, for this Pope of Firsts, the first pitfalls lie ahead, too. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Vatican City.